Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schober. That's Ian Andrews, and we're going to be doing a gin review for you, the audience, the live stream, and anybody else who cares. With uh, Sip Smith. Sip Smith! I bought this for the craft cocktail when we did the gin series, which we're still doing, and that was, I needed it because yes. I needed a gin. And it was decent, if I remember right. Yeah. But what's interesting today is we're trying it in the Norland New Orleans glass. glass. Links below. Amazon affiliate link if they have them in stock. I didn't even check. They did last time. I think I looked today. I think they did. Yeah. So you want to go do that, and that's the link that's in the video. If you're in the live stream, then it's I don't have that. For double wall glass reduces the ethanol. Uh, Makes it smell taste like and awesome. taste. Yeah. So you, you get rid of the alcohol, and all you get is the flavors that come out. You get the, the booze, not the alcohol. The problem is if you review it up against mm. that same product or other products in the past that you were like, oh, these are too boozy because you're using like car and glass or, by God, a pint. Glass <laughs> or something uh, is gonna have less alcohol, so you're gonna you probably want to retaste the stuff you've already tasted in the past. Oh yeah. Oh, and it has like that thing where you spin it like this, and it causes magical um, um, vapors, molecule vapors to flow in some weird way. It definitely makes things taste better, which is really Ooh, weird. It smells it smells like uh, mm. it smells like um, a camp. It's got that piney, you know, like if you're oh wow, like. Piney. Because it's sappy. Little, because it's a little dry. Yeah, yeah. I like pine sap. Juniper. Because it's not sticky what's like that. What's it say on here? It says gin. And I'm sipping it like a smith. 2009. Stay it's tuned. London's first copper distillery for 100 If you're years. into Patreon and you want to see the next Patreon contest, we're going to do that in a minute. Um, it's not a contest. I said the wrong it's word. Like sweepstakes. It's not a sweepstakes. Because then it's legal. It's a... I just like to give stuff to my patrons. What it comes down to. Well, that's what it boils down to. Hmm. Patreon.com slash CMC. There's a link right there. So it's not, not really. really sweet at all. It's not sweet. It's not dry. It was really piney. It is piney, but it's, it's not it's junipery. Not happy... Well, I think that juniper is the pine. Is yeah, it? but I don't know. Like, it doesn't. It doesn't taste like um, pledge. Not pledge. Pledge is lemon. Yes, uh, what's the other one? Pine salt. Pine salt. It's got the word pine in it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't taste like cleaner. No. Well, it I mean, really the, the glass tastes... may really have something to do with that, too. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, but the it, glass it, is otherworldly for some reason. I know. <laughs> it's like it's like if you had a Christmas tree. You're not a Christmas tree. Like a, like a, you're Spruce. out in the camp. You grab one of those little spruces with the little with the, all the little... And the leaf shake in your mouth, and you try to spit them out, and you... Is this where you're going? No, I was just oh. going to say, you just smell it or whatever. Oh, okay. And it smells like that. Or when you're in the Definitely. woods of, of, of those ugly trees and it has that pine sap like smell to it. It's got a really nice aroma. I just yeah, I, I was could expecting see it. this on my fishing trip. I get yeah, straight. Sitting in a chair. Like this. Outside. Yeah. Like we're not Two hours later. <laughs> yeah. Then you're fishing for the bottle up anymore. Well, fishing is kind of a overstatement of what we do. <laughs> and I <laughs> just not being anywhere. An overstatement. <laughs> I don't think I've cast a rod for years. <laughs> <laughs> you just sit there? I like fishing. Yeah. Oh, it started as a fishing trip, so. <laughs> the, the other thing, okay, it's copper, uh, copper stilled in London. So the other thing about this is actually distilled in London, and they call it out, but it's it should be underscored, because there's not a lot of London dry gins made in London. Like not anymore. Beef right? eater. Yeah, not anymore. Yeah. They all left. It's Sip Smith's is there, Beef Eater's there, and a couple small companies that I probably should have their products too. If you guys right. are there watching, send me your products. I'll review them. I don't care. I like yeah. it. Yeah, and I, like I don't it think it was that much money. I can't remember. It um, looks good. I think I usually base everything on how much is it above or beyond Hendrix. And it's, it's less probably than less than Hendrix, yeah. So I think it's like that's a standard bottle, they got the stamp on the bottle. But yeah. I mean it doesn't they don't go out of their way to do anything too super crazy with it. Yeah. But it has the perfect classic flavor and it doesn't get too crazy. Which I like. Doesn't taste like a cleaner. Doesn't taste like an American gin either because it's got a little bit of that dry and a lot more of a piney camp, um, summer camp type of flavor to it as opposed to chemical. About as fancy as they went is putting the leafing on the label. That's there cool. was leafing on there. Does it, there you can probably is. scrape it off. There still is. You didn't scrape it all off yet? Nope. Last but not least, it, the Patreon winner for July is uh, Zan. I sent Zan X-A-N. I'm going to say Zan. I don't know if that's how you say it. But I sent, I sent them a message, and I say them because I'm not sure if that's a him or her. Hmm. Because Zan is not something I use in my language that I've ever used. It sounds like something from a game I've probably played. Zan? Yeah. Yeah. See. So the next month, August, 
So for our what comes after August? October? For our September. Oct- <laughs> Not really. It's all right. Are you like William? You Just don't know your month? Gained a month. Um, <laughs> for September, I will give away to a random person, but it's not a contest. One of my old lemon squeezes. So I've been going through my store and I've been cleaning out a lot of this juicer. So this is just your basic juicer in case you don't have one. You throw it down, squeeze your crap on it, pour it out. I used to sell them out of awesome drinks years ago and then I took them down and I realized they still had some in stock. I didn't want to repost it, so I have a couple of those. So I'll give those out at random. This is another one, the cardamom bitters. I thought I sold them all. I found a bottle when I was digging That's through. a tough one because like the flavor profile, there's some good drinks for it. For cardamom, yeah. But, but you gotta make classy. a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. And if <laughs> because it's strong. It's a strong flavor. So. It is. This one's probably not as strong as the cardamom from Scrappies, right. uh, because it's the, it doesn't have the same base. Just Those cool. are always nice. That is, uh, I think it's faux copper, which is usually copper plated stainless. Okay. Something like I don't know. I could see zinc, maybe copper plated zinc. Yeah, it's it doesn't have the right sound, but yeah. it's good if you're into chilling drinks. It's really for your moss gummules. Uh, there's a there's a theme here is glasses because. I was cleaning up, and I have too many glasses. These are all from the show. And if they just uh, stick the around, I'm going to break them eventually. So. Yeah, <laughs> and these are the ones that haven't broken. These are a couple of our original highball, not highball, Collins glasses that we use. This one still isn't even clean because Ian. And then I had the big-ass highball glass. This one I got from Eric Thoreau. Simply made cocktails. He sent me a whole pile of them. And I was I want to keep a couple because I don't actually have any of the non-branded ones, but this mm-hmm. one's got the original uh, Common Man cocktails. Oh, ED. Yep, for the uh, for those that with erectile dysfunction. And then <laughs> the I have tons of these. I'm just gonna figure out they're up in the attic. The little awesome drinks koozies. That was because we were sponsored for uh, amateur NASCAR and he needed a whole pile of them, so I had them made. Um, and then an easy step jigger that I found. I don't know where it came from. And a, again, more products I tore out of the store that I removed from the store because they just don't sell right. I just don't care anymore. And I found a couple extra ones. Zester kind of thing. Yep, there. or zest, lemon zester. Lemon zester. So yeah. you get your zester. You can make your own cardamom cocktails in a big bowl. Oh, what right. the crap? Wow. Hi, Tom. It's a lot of high fives. All right. You ready? So it's five high fives, right? Ten. How's that ten? Oh, we didn't. No, we can't do ten at once. Just do five <laughs> hard ones. Oh my god. Oh, oh, three, four. four. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you worked out. <sighs> Imagine if I had arms made of noodles. This would be a whole lot easier. <laughs> um, so you can go to patreoncom cmc and become a supporter of the show. And folks in the live stream that donate to us cause me nice amounts of pain. Um, with their donations live. Did I leave my tag out? Oh no, it's style. It's no, oh, that's a style tag. Okay. Yeah. It's a style tag. functional. Yeah. It is. It's weird, right? Yeah. My shirt's not in, so I don't know. It would be. Uh, we're done. Go get yourself some <laughs> Sip Smith's gin because it tasties. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It tastes good. Oh, we do other stuff. Donate to Patreon. Maybe you can uh, get some free stuff. You get some free stuff. Sidebar, two videos down below. It, no, how am I going to do this? I remember. Down below is a link to our store, AustinDrakes.com. You can use coupon code AUG17. Save 17% off until September 9th. See, I knew it was September next month. Oh, you're throwing some numbers out there, huh? AUG17. August 17. everything straight. <laughs> it's all up there. August 17 until the 9th. Yeah, well, it's up there, too. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, see? We'll teach you how to drink. <laughs>